Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombie spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. Actually, I think before I grab some clay, I'm gonna do an ammo count and uh, I know I'm gonna need some nine mil. Let's just put this stuff away. Oh yeah, I don't have a lot of ammo at all. Not in my vehicle, I, I might have some in my crate. Yeah, I got a little more here. I just don't want to run out when I'm up there because I can't really go hand to hand with the bandits and uh, I'm running out of ammo. I'm going to be pretty upset because I'll have to leave and I would have wasted all that time and resources on nothing. I have to also look at my SKS and look at the condition of it. Should be okay for one bandit camp, I think. Where was it here? Uh, barely. Man, I wasted that oil. That really sucks. So I'll have to pick up another SKS, I think. Which I have enough uh, zombie parts for. But it, it's just uh, it's an inconvenience. I'll have to hit a trader. And there aren't any really close by. Because I want to go to this camp right here and see one. Yeah. There's one up here too. So that's a big camp. This is a small camp and it should have an NPC. I think it's got minimal bandits there, five or so. Some of the other camps, like the one that I'm beside here is has got quite a few. I have to double check. But yeah, I'll need a new SKS. But I do have the nine mil and that'll be more for close combat. So it looks like I got all five books of uh, metallurgy, which is good, because that's an annoying skill to raise on your own, like going through uh, making charcoal or whatever. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. Mechanics, like I said before, I am not too worried about it. It's super, super easy, super fast to raise just by uh, making arrows. I've got two and three there. I don't think... Like it's actually, it's probably faster to make arrows and raise a skill than it is to read the books. That's my guess. Uh, same with weapons, making stone knives. But then again, the uh, the books don't need any resources like like the rocks and sticks. And collecting uh, saplings or sticks is uh, pretty annoying. Medicine one, five, and three. I thought I had a. Uh, another cooking book but maybe i had planned on buying a cooking five at one point but i only have a three and a five right now and the egg is two and three tailoring one and two i could have used three through five i believe and electrical doesn't really matter anymore once you can make that the chem lab you can just raise your electrical by making fuel or pulling fuel out of your vehicle and then remaking it so i'm only missing book two for uh the electrical yeah, that looks pretty good. So if I die, I've, I've got a pretty good jump start here. Uh, level 1 books are probably the most important ones to get started. Like especially for medicine and tailoring, which I have. Cooking, um, I think level 5 is probably the most important one to have. Uh, 4 and 5 would be the best. Metallurgy, any any of them is, is great. It'll save you a lot of time. Mechanics doesn't really matter. Engineering's good, I suppose. Uh, you can, you're going to be building anyway, so you may as well get your stuff built before you're using the books, unless you really need to increase the skill to build a particular item or whatever. But I, I noticed that building these pillars really brings it up quick. So just cut down a bunch of trees, put down a foundation, 
and put those pillars up. And for every one pillar you put up, you I think you get about the same amount of points as you would for the foundation. And the foundation takes a lot longer and a lot more resources when the pillar is only like one log. As opposed to like a wooden foundation, which is I think is like six. So that's a really fast, I guess, fast way of uh, raising that skill. Might be a quicker way, but that's kind of what I've noticed over, over the many hours I've put into this game. And we're looking at ammo. I gotta get rid of some some of these books here. And I believe that's it for ammo. And this would be the modded SMG that I have. That silencer is gonna come in handy at the bandit camp, I think. Especially if I have to go into the bandit camp and there's still two bandits left. They should only trigger the one that I'm I'm firing at, unless they're really close together, but getting mobbed by them really mess you up because once they put you in that like like locked up mode where you can't really do anything because they're hitting you so often you you may as well run or you know try to get a full auto shot off and that that'll kind of disrupt that whole situation but then i'm talking from doing a bandit camp quite a while ago it's been a long time a little nervous about doing it okay so we got ammo let's look at my bags See what I have for ammunition in here. I think I've already uh, pulled all of it. We'll go ahead and put these guys together. Pretty sure I have enough SKS to do a bandit camp ammo. My fire firing skill, like my weapon skill, is only, I believe, level one. So I'm going to take a little bit of ammo. I'm going to go through 9 mil pretty quick with this. Man, I still need another SKS too. Yeah, it really sucks that they lowered the uh, the maintenance on... Or they increase the maintenance on the weapons. I used to be able to do a lot more with one gun before I had to maintain it. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. I know there's rewards now, and they're kind of forcing you into killing more zombies so you can pick up more weapons, but I liked it the way it was before. I'd rather not have those rewards and just find the weapons and, and uh, have them last a lot longer. Okay, so we'll get some gunpowder... And we're going to make a bunch more 9 mil. Uh, do I have any left? I don't think I do. I need to make some. I just want the queue going before I head out. You may as well make two stacks of gunpowder. And we'll run out and grab uh, some clay. I got to get to that bandit camp before summer. Like, I got lots of time. But I'm hoping to get at least two done. I, I want, you know, a, a, a minimum of one, but two would be nice. Just going to put my bag over here so I don't lose it. Two would be nice. I think two I can get away with. And then the third one will come in time. And like, no rush. So tired already. My stats are getting low too. Wow. I didn't realize. One more thing I want to do. I want to make sure I've got all the iron I can get. Because I am going to build traps when I get out there. And the traps I'm going to build, I think, are going to be these iron spike walls. As long as the bandits don't destroy them, I can break them down and get that iron back. So I need four per, and I probably need about three traps. Maybe four. It'll really help, because if they all run at me, then it'll help slow them down. And they don't really... They don't really attack the traps. They'll shoot the traps, but they don't really attack the traps. Like, they'll shoot the traps, you know, they'll try to shoot me and, and hit the trap accidentally or or instead. And that should give me enough for four traps. And that's it for iron. Wow. Didn't I have some over here somewhere? Yeah, I do. I'm glad I came back just to get this started. That's nine bags of concrete. Whoops, I put my iron in there. I didn't mean to do that. I'll grab two more stacks. Oh yeah, the snow is finally gone. That's nice to see. Might as well do a couple more stacks here. 
All right, now we can get the clay. Be nice to get the clay queued up before I leave because it does take quite a while. And uh, to come home and do it would be good. I have logged in and out since my last play session, so I should have the mushrooms here. Should be one more here somewhere. Nice to see the stone and the sticks on the ground again. 16 degrees. What I'm going to do is just to conserve some stamina, I'm going to get a little naked here. To be able to move around a little faster for a little longer and not have to worry about damaging my gear. Kind of lost my bag. I started running around. There it is. I'll try to remember to make some tailor repair kits too, in case I get shot up so bad that my gear, you know, I have to remove it or I risk losing it. I think those repair kits do take quite a while to make. We'll just head back. That should be enough clay. Maybe I'll grab this one down here. Yeah, I'd like to get two dependent camps done before summer. That's my goal. We'll see how the first one goes. If I die, then there's no, probably no chance of me getting a second one done. But then again, if I die and I respawn up there, then I'm not going to be so paranoid about dying anymore. I'll just keep plugging away until I get in. Oh, a mushroom. Make sure I'm covered with this, uh, uh, with enough stone also. It's only one stone per brick, so I should be okay. Shouldn't need too many, but I'll grab the rocks because when I leave, uh, it gives them a chance to respawn. That fog's pretty thick. I can't tell which direction I'm heading in here. Uh, getting pretty low on a lot of things here. Oh, I should have set up the repair kits before I slept. And that would be over here, I think. Yeah, one ironing it. Iron for everything, it seems. Holy cow. I didn't realize there was fine in that. That's a limited resource for sure. I don't think I can make fine fabric. I have to... Uh, I have to break things down for it. And I'm going to need it for some of the buildings too. Wow. I think. Nothing in that one. That one should be okay. Do I need it in housing? Was it the housing? I think so. Yeah, 20 fine. I don't even have that. Make another house. That one should be okay. What about the uh, the workshops? Like, the quarry is going to be my first one. 
And that'll be a really easy build, actually. Five pickaxes, even more iron. Maybe the livestock farm at some point. But really worried about it. Log cabin for logs and wooden. No, I don't need that. Botanical garden. Well, as long as I'm growing my own stuff, this should be okay. I shouldn't need this. But the mining for sure, the quarry for sure, just for the extra iron. And copper and saltpeter. I'll just go ahead and lay that one out right now. I don't really know where I want it. Stick back here. But it can't be too far from the control center. Ah, sure. We'll put it right here. It's kind of weird, but... Whatever. I can put it on the other side, but I want to keep it expanding also. I love how flat the ground is here. These are some of the hardest buildings to place. Because, like, any variation in, in the ground, and they will not go... 15 simple parts, 5 iron axes. I'm not going to worry about this until I get the NPC in, but... Yeah, that fine fabric. That's going to be a tough one. I'm not sure where to get that. I don't have a good source for it. I know when your loot settings are set to, like, abundant or whatever, respawn. Like, the, uh, the repair kits do spawn often, I think. Or I remember them spawning often. I do have two pairs of cotton trousers. Maybe I'll bring them both. A couple pairs of gloves. Five head protection on that. This one's got ten head protection. I can wear that. Defense is five on these shoes, but they're really slow. I'm going to be running a lot. Ah, I'll bring it. So if I can't make repair kits, I may as well uh, hang on to or use, um, you know, bring more than one pair of whatever with me. 15 defense on that t-shirt as opposed to my winter jacket. The leather is 30. Was that, is that the one I was wearing during the winter? I think so. This one here has got like, oh, it's got 15 defense. It's more than I expected. I thought this gear was really, really bad for defense. I wonder if they upped that or if I'm just not remembering it right. So we'll bring the leather jacket. That's going to need a repair kit. I don't think that'll survive a bandit camp. So I'll make at least one. 15, 15. Yeah, we should be okay. I think we'll be okay. I just need one repair kit. That's the only jacket I have. I can make more, but that fine fabric's going to mess me up. I won't be able to get any more. Unless I can find more clothing. I'm not sure if the NPCs bring fabric. They might with the... I don't know if they bring fabric. I've never thought about that before. Alright, let's get this clothing uh, into one of these packs. I don't think I'm going to find a lot of loot there, so I don't care about the, the room so much. I'll just eat some food. Got some older mushrooms here. A little bit of jerky left. Uh, that pot I'm going to need. I totally forgot about it. And a toolbox for a workbench in case, I don't know, use it for storage or whatever. Water I'll have plenty with me. That plastic bottle's almost gone, which is fine. It just takes up room. I've got so many of them. And I can always grab some fish too for extra food. I think I'm going to be a little shy on the protein here. And I should be good on the carbs, though. Yeah, these have a condition, but they don't have, like, an expiry on them. That's really interesting. So they can get damaged. Uh, let's see what the gunpowder is doing. And it's ready to go. Make sure we have enough 9 mil. We'll do 3. I think 3 will be enough. I hope it'll be. I'll go through it really quick. Man, I hate running out of ammo at a bandit camp. And having to like give up because there's one bandit left with a shotgun and you can't get close to him. Uh, 
Oh yeah, fuel too. That's it for fuel. Probably have a look to see what my fuel's at. Probably in the 30s. Yeah, 35. Holy cow. I'm going to have to look online for some gas stations. And hopefully I get lucky and find some more fuel. Because my biggest fuel source should have been this E1, E2 area. But I, I didn't get very much fuel out of there at all. And healing kits. I wouldn't mind a couple with me. There's one. Uh, this might actually be enough to do it. Got enough cloth for bandages. And I think that's about all I want out of here. Like I said, it's been a long time since I did a bandit camp. I wonder if I should do the one beside me. Uh, somebody online commented that there's an NPC there. I know that camp has a lot of bandits. Like, I think it's one of the large camps. I'm not sure if I want to risk doing a large camp. But then again, it's right there. I don't have to worry about fuel. Man, the, the trade-offs suck. I might make one more healing kit. One alcohol, four fabric. Too bad. Oh yeah, we'll make that for sure. Yeah, that'll come in handy um, at some point. And a uh, repair kit. Cloth repair kit. Just one though, because that's all I can afford to make. And I don't want to lose that jacket. You know, another thing I can do is go to the uh, one of the traders that sells clothing. This one here sells clothing plus trains tailoring. That would be ideal because then I can get my tailoring skill up. And I still got tradables too, so I might find actually a good, good jacket. Like, uh, I do have options. It's not like I just started the game, so there are options available. We'll see how this bandit camp goes. If I lose my jacket before winter, I'll just have to make a point of heading out there and uh, picking up a new one with trade. I wonder if I should even bother repairing that leather jacket because if I can get a better jacket then I can save the resources. Like that fine fabric, I don't have any other way to get it. But I suppose I could also trade for clothing and then break that clothing down to get more fine fabric. We'll make one. Two minutes for one. Yeah, I'm overthinking it. So the one thing that we're kind of short on here is food. I mean, my stats will be good until I get there. But once I get there, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to figure out my food situation. Yeah, that's not going to last very long. Not in a fully automatic weapon. I should be fine. Get a little bit of canned food here. Carb and protein right there. I probably eat that first. And then go to this one here. This is, uh... Actually, I can get away with eating this one right now. Well, I'll wait. I'll save this one for... As soon as I get there, I'll make a, a camp and cook it. Just so I have a fresh meal. Just got to wait on that ammo. You know what, maybe we will build that mining shack right now. And that way when... I don't think it's too far. It should be okay. Um, that way when I do get the NPC, it'll it'll start... Oh, what did I put in there? Plant fibers. It'll uh, queue up, you know, the NPCs to pick up mining items or and that sort of thing right away. Like right away, there's no delay. So I'll just get it done. That way I've got the housing and the logging shack. I got a water supply. I got power. Or the one NPC should bring in a little bit. Like enough to make a difference. 20 plank, 15 simple parts, and 5 iron pickaxes. I don't think I have the simple parts. Just barely. I've got that. I don't remember how many it was. 15 or 20, I can't remember. It was 15. The iron pickaxes are going to be expensive though. Three iron. I need five, so 15. Wow. But I got to spend iron to make iron, right? Yeah, that took quite a bit. Did I need five or three? I think it was five. Yeah, I gotta wait for some iron here. But I'll get the three started. Oh, I got enough for five. Never mind. My math was off. Get rid of these planks. Okay, so that's waiting on five iron pickaxes. Let's see how my plants are doing. 
Seven days to go, 70% harvest. I think we should be good, more or less. Yeah, I think these will be a success. It's got to wait it out. Simple parts, plastic, and iron. I wonder if I should make some more here. More iron. Never really had an issue with iron before, you know, late later game like this, but this one I seem to. We'll just get something else planted there. Some more food, something to rot, something to eat. We'll do some corn. As we'll grab that fertilizer. Oh, I didn't realize there was an irrigation button here. Someone mentioned in the comments, just hit the button. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Thinking to myself, and, and that's what they're talking about. So thank you very much. I didn't realize that was there. Look at that. I mean, it's so simple, and yet I had no idea. So I appreciate that. Thanks. It's hard to judge how much I'm going to need because it's been quite a while. So we'll take those out. We'll grab that and go rest SKS. See how those pickaxes are doing here. Holy cow. I didn't expect them to be done. So there we go. We've got um, a little mining shack. So when I go to... Uh, select what task for them to do they'll they'll do the mining right off the bat or i can select mining and take these out i don't need them So that should give me uh, 10, 20, 30, 34 bricks in this one by the time it's done. And 10, 20, 35 in this one. Plus whatever I have here. So I'll need 30 more for this. Or 20 more for this. Just going to have a look at see how much brick I'm going to need here. Yeah, 30 here. Another 20 there. And another 30 there, so quite a bit. I'll take what's there out now. Just to make some room. I think the house will be the more important one to do next. 20 fine fabric, that's going to be a big one. You know what, we'll focus on the one NPC if I get it. So if we have these other buildings up when they arrive, uh, that'll make things a lot easier for me. And it'll, they'll produce a lot more. Just the one. But a second house for one NPC isn't going to do anything. Okay, so I logged off and uh, had a look at the interactive map to make the most of this fuel. Now, there's a bandit camp down here. And it's a small camp. Originally, I had planned on doing this one here first. But there aren't any other resources I can really take advantage of for the fuel cost. I've already done most of this area here. I can go to the tailoring trainer and pick up some more tailoring skill, but that's that's pretty much it in this area. So I'm going to skip this one. I, I, I'm really familiar with this one, but i um, just going to have to go ahead and do this one down here because there's a lot more resources on the way. So I'll leave from here, and I'll go north and then south down here to the gas stations first. We'll hit these gas stations, cross the bridge, 
hit the aluminum mine, queue up a bunch of aluminum, hit the copper mine, queue up whatever copper I can, hit the bandit camp, hopefully I get the NPC, and if I do, great. Uh, if I don't, then I, I, I'm not sure what to do at that point. Uh, and if I have enough fuel, I'll see if I can get some gun oil from this fellow over here, or this merchant over here. Maybe it, it is quite a distance, and it's quite rough terrain. And then I'll run back and pick up the ore that I that should be ready to go in both of these camps. Because I've already got camps built there, so all i got to do really is queue it up. So it shouldn't take too long. I think that's a good plan. That's the only small camp with an NPC around resources that I'm going to need eventually here anyway. So, um, I gotta take it, like, I gotta get the biggest bang for my buck out of that fuel. Just wait for the rest of that ammo there, and then we'll take off. So, not very long at all. Only got four casings left, so another 40 rounds. Yeah, I'm actually, now I'm kind of looking forward to, it. before I wasn't really, like, I was, I'm really looking forward to the NPC, but now I'm kind of looking forward to this trip, because I'm, I'm gonna get quite a bit out of it. See how that mech kit's doing. And anything could happen too, right? Like I could run into a lot of issues. Maybe I'll make one more while I wait. Just one, I need alcohol. I thought I had alcohol. I use it for the uh, fermented stuff there. So to make one of those is like 10 minutes. That's a long time. I'm not gonna wait on it. The two medical kits should be enough plus these guys here. Sh should keep me full. I mean, I've done small bandit camps and had you know didn't really need to use any medical at all i should be good to go there i can eat that meal now it's kind of yellow so i might get sick from it uh nope it turned out okay and there shouldn't be a lot of loot at the bandit camp like there never is for me on hardcore difficulty there's usually very little loot so i never fill up so i'm going to grab as many tradables as i can in case i do get to that trader and the arrows i'm going to need i'm going to go ahead and use up stone arrows and the iron arrows that i have on hand five five six ammo i don't need to bring that with me yeah this is going to be a long outing but i'm getting a little low on the coal too I don't know how much room I have for coal, actually, so I may not be able to grab too much, but I don't really need it. It's just a nice convenience. I mean, I don't necessarily need to use that furnace either. I can always use, you know, use the, uh, the electric furnace for everything, right? But it's costly. Still got quite a bit of copper here, so I'm not going to worry too much about the copper. I have been going through the aluminum, though. So I don't have a lot of aluminum left. So it's good that I'm hitting that aluminum mine. I feel like I should have more tradables, but I, I don't. And this is ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Let's make sure this is full. Yeah, not a lot of tradables. I don't really want to trade that ammo. I suppose I can trade some 5.56 five, if I need to round something out. I'm not using a 5.56 weapon or a shotgun, actually. Yeah, that'll help with trade. And gun oil isn't that expensive, I don't think. I'm not going to be buying any weapons. Unless she's got a shotgun, I might I might try to trade for a shotgun. So I can give my NPC that shotgun. Grab another repair kit. And uh, I think we're good. I should have some simple parts, I think, in my bag. For a water storage in case I need water while I'm there. I don't think I will. I should have plenty of water. I do. I've got six. Oh, I have a repair kit there. I should be okay. We'll save that room. Actually, we'll see what my condition's like right now. Yeah, we're at 78. We should be fine. And seeing as these repair kit parts aren't good for anything else, I may as well queue up however many I can make there. How are we looking here? Let's drink some water, get rid of this bottle. Grab a big bottle here. Oh, look at that, the rain. Nice. Get rid of that dirty water. Well, actually, this bottle's on its way out too, isn't it? Yeah, we'll hold off on that one. We'll keep this one. There's three plus another five. That should be more than enough. Plus whatever I have in the vehicle. I'll take one more. It's going to be a long trip. 
and my protein is low so any wildlife that i see on the way i'll have to take out got a little bit of iron on me here may as well get rid of that man i hope this goes well and i think we're ready to go i'll bring a uh, extra stack of iron ingots for arrows in case i need them i'm not sure if i will this might be enough to do two gas stations just food food is the only thing that i'm low on i got two cans of food there if i really need i've got all my armor or my clothing i guess and i should have a repair kit too right there it is No, I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. I'll just make sure that pot's in my bag, and then we should be good to go. And there it is. So we should be good to go. Maybe I'll grab one fish. <laughs> so that one fish, depending on how well I fillet it, it should last. Like it should bring me up my protein. And in case I don't run into any wildlife, uh, make sure I'm going the right way, and I am. So as for blueprints, if if I get lucky, um, the ones that I'm looking for are the solar panel array and the oil extractor more than anything, but the oil extractor. And then I won't have to worry about fuel as much anymore. And I'm pretty sure I haven't done the gas stations down here. I do have a bed down here. But I think that's for something else. I think that's for the motel. Yeah, that would be for the motel. That car there, best car ever. It had my electric furnace. I don't think I've been all the way down this road before, so I gotta kinda take it slow and see what's up. I did see on the interactive map there, I did see two, two gas stations down here. I hope they're not further in. I hope they're right off the road. Well, they might be further in. Yeah, they are. Well, that's not good. Hang on, I gotta figure this out. <laughs> Just gonna sneak in there and have a look. Yeah, okay, I totally missed the gas stations. I guess uh, there goes that part of the plan. We're just gonna move ahead. I should have enough fuel to do the round trip here. I'm not gonna go to this trader for gun oil. We'll hit the aluminum mine now and get that aluminum queued up. I was hoping that the gas stations were on the road here, but they're not. I should have brought fuel. Pretty sure I checked these vehicles. Because this is really close to where I started. And this is where I got my hatch back. Oh, there's some deer right there. Ah, 
not sure why it's taking me four shots to kill a deer. That's new. Oh, you get away from my car. I know he's after my car. They're always after my car. Hey, even if I just cook the meat with water, that should give me the protein that I need. That should be more than enough now. I think it's like 10 or 15 protein per... And I just got to get to my camp and get everything cooked up here. Here they are. And a rabbit. I could use that rabbit, actually, but a little close to that deer. I'll just run back up if I need to. Whoa, hello. Slow down. Oh, I got water catchment here, too. I don't think these were preloaded. Pretty. Oh, I did, too. Look at that. I've got aluminum in here. So maybe what I should do is just loot this and leave. And head straight to the next, uh, I mean, I'm here. I may as well queue up. Yeah, there's quite a bit. So, yeah, I did run a queue before I left, which is good. Look at that. I even have a pot here. That's perfect. So we'll get the protein taken care of right now. We'll do that with, uh, I do have a water catchment there, so that should be full of water. i will just do two water and one meat and get tons of protein here. And that'll give me five carb each, too, so that'll help with the carbs. I mean, I don't really need it, but I should be able to max everything out pretty close anyway. I also have that fish. Got to consider that, too. Maybe I'll burn up a little more meat here. I think I've got too much food. I don't mind letting the meat rot while I wait also. I mean, I probably won't be back here for a while, but it'll be here. It'll be a nice surprise when I get here. There we go. A couple hours. So, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll grab this aluminum out of here now. I don't want to overfill, so... I'll take what's here, and then I'll reload these, and uh, I'll take off and not come back until I need aluminum again. That way I don't have to waste fuel coming back up here. Okay, hey, yeah, I'm going to work on getting these filled up and uh, get out of here. And what we'll do is we'll head right down. Well, there is another book trader here, but we'll head straight down to this mine here and queue up some copper, which I don't really need, but I'll queue up whatever and see if, see if I left any behind anyway. Well, there is two of them there. I don't have any traps. I'm just going to set up one trap.
I think that will be enough. I think I'll queue this up and head south to the other mine. That's it, I think we're good to go. If I got any copper made, I don't think so. I don't have a lot of, uh, oh yeah, because there, there isn't a lot of copper here, so probably why I don't have any pre-made. Uh, I'm going to set my spawn point because I don't think I have yet. Now, how do I want to play this? I should, got some food on me here. I'm still really good for food. Should be lots of coal here, so I'm going to go ahead and process some of that aluminum while I'm in this mine. It won't be a lot, but it'll be something. Oh, I've got it like right there. I can't express how nice, like, I can't express enough how nice it is to have a camp ready to go. Like, all I gotta do is run in and grab, and and that's it. I wonder if he heard me. He's coming at me. Kind of interesting. Maybe it was a car. So I'll grab a little bit of copper here. There won't be a lot, but I do need the coal too. And uh, whatever, you know, if I run out of room, I'll just dump the coal or the rocks or whatever when I get to the bandit camp. But I don't think there's going to be a lot of loot there. It's mo mostly for the NPC. So as soon as we're done here, we'll build a, there's a camp, bandit camp just south of me. And we'll build a camp down around him or that camp and uh, see if we can get that NPC. We're getting really close now. That'll be it for this video, and you know what to do to show your support. Appreciate all the comments. Thanks for watching.